Fellas, unfortunately, Francis Ngannou just got knocked out cold by Anthony Joshua in the in the second round of the fight. And I don't really I don't really know how to feel. There's a lot of emotions, not really emotions, but thoughts going through my head for what's next for Ngannou, what's with the current state of boxing. And we're just going to be talking about that fight, basically. So we just saw that fight with Anthony Joshua and... Ta uh, not Tassif, you Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngannou and... It was just, it was kind of brutal to watch Francis Ngannou get knocked out like that. I feel like if anyone was, if I saw pictured anyone getting slept in that way, I was always imagining it was going to be Joshua. To see Francis Ngannou get knocked out cold like that, that was a brutal knockout as well. Obviously, in the first round, he got dropped. Second round, he got dropped again. Got back up pretty much immediately as he got back up. Joshua came forward and especially just slept Francis Ngannou. I don't really know how to feel about this, but yeah, this was never going to be a good fight for, for Francis Ngannou. I said in my prediction, I did a community poll and I said in my prediction that I thought uh, Anthony Joshua was going to be able to take Francis Ngannou to a comfortable decision but to knock him out like that in the second round you've got to realize that's quite quick in because in boxing rounds are a lot quicker than the RMMA to, to knock him out that quickly and to drop him two times I just thought stylistically this was never going to be a good fight for Francis Ngannou I feel like the style of AJ and Fury are completely different and I thought Fury was a much more suitable matchup for Francis Ngannou than uh, Anthony Joshua was but fair play for for you know Francis and Garnu for going in going in there and trying. But man, I really don't, like. How does this make Tyson Fury look though? Now that Tyson Fury kind of got dog walked by Francis and Garnu, just for Francis and Garnu to get slept like that by Anthony Joshua, that only makes the rivalry between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury a lot worse. But it was never going to be a good fight for Francis and Garnu. I understand why he took the fight. I mean, first of all, he's getting paid like well, I think he got paid twenty mil, something like twenty million for this fight, which is like ten times more, more than ten times more than he made in his MMA career, pretty much, or at least his last MMA fight against Cyril Garnu. On. so he's made a whole ton of money he's you know a whole lot of publicity about this and obviously likes boxing he transitioned to boxing so it was never going to be a good fight for francis and garnu but to go out there and get knocked out in that fashion that brutally as well wasn't like anthony joshua cruised him to a decision which is what i thought was going to happen wasn't like he just about lost on points like he did to tyson fury that was a brutal knockout he got slept it kind of reminded me, in a way, of the way that Francis Ngannou knocked out Stipe. It, I don't know why. When I was watching the knockout of the, the Anthony Joshua did to Ngannou, it kind of reminded me of the Stipe and Ngannou knockout. It's kind of weird, but yeah, it was never going to be a good fight for Francis Ngannou stylistically. And I'm not saying that everyone was thinking that Ngannou was going to lose. I did a community poll, and I know the majority of the people voting are MMA fans, but a majority of the people thought Francis Ngannou was going to beat jo Anthony Joshua. I know a lot of, at the same time, a lot of them were probably hoping that he'd beat Joshua, but yeah... For the MMA community, it's not really a... I wouldn't say it's not really a good look because if any MMA fight, if any boxer was to come in an MMA octagon, they'd get destroyed. But that's my first point. The second point is what is next for Francis Ngannou. He's in this really weird spot, right? He's had this big fight with Tyson Fury, which went incredibly well. He's debuting boxing against the, you know, Tyson Fury. He did amazingly. Most people thought he won the fight and he did really well. And now he's gone in there in his second boxing fight against Anthony Joshua, which a lot of people were expecting him to do a lot better than he did and he went out there and he got knocked out cold in the second round. What is next for Francis Ngannou? Does he have a rematch against Tyson Fury in boxing? Because I'm pretty sure that Tyson Fury, after seeing that Anthony Joshua can do that, he's going to want to you know, get a knockout over Fury himself, over Ngannou himself. Does he fight anyone else in boxing? Or does he come to MMA? The thing is, if he does come back to MMA, I feel like it's going to be a bit of a not a letdown, but I don't know how to describe it. It's going to be a bit of a downgrade because he's just had these two massive boxing fights where he's had more publicity and more money than he's ever had before. And then his next MMA fight is most likely going to be in PFL against the heavyweights of PFL. And no one's really going to be watching Francis Ngannou in PFL. If we want to, if we want to watch Francis Ngannou in MMA, we're going to want it to be in the UFC. I think it's good for the UFC to have Ngannou back because he's this big combat sports star now rather than just chucking him in the PFL. I know he signed a deal to the pfl but yeah i don't really know what's next for him maybe he has another boxing match against fury maybe he i don't know he has a boxing match against another heavyweight contender in boxing maybe he comes to the pfl maybe the ufc and francis and garnu you know they they you know they make ways they come back together and francis and garnu comes back to the ufc i don't know what on is going to do next in his career if he's i assume he's probably going to stay in boxing because he's getting paid a bag unless he gets paid a bag by pfl which i don't see how pfl are paying francis and garnu more than the ufc would but 
But yeah, I'm not sure what's next for Francis and Garner after this fight. It's it's a tough loss. He's going to be out for a while as well. That was a brutal knockout. I don't think Ngarno is going to be fighting until like at least November, October of this year because that was a brutal knockout. I know I've said it about five times already, but that wasn't just like he got dropped and counted out. He got slept in that fight. I've never seen Francis Ngarno like that. If I was to like... I don't know. It's just it's weird seeing Ngannou get knocked out. But yeah, I don't know what's next for him. The third point is Francis Ngannou still on fear. Listen, there's going to be boxing fans that are going to be clowning Francis Ngannou for getting knocked out by Anthony Joshua. But like I said earlier, if any boxer, I don't care if they're the best heavyweight boxer in the world or they're rank 10 or whatever rank they are. If any boxer was to step in the octagon, they would get absolutely destroyed. I heard Tyson Fury saying he could beat Francis Ngannou with an octagon. Francis Ngannou, one leg kick and Tyson Fury would be tossed. He'd be done. So I don't want to I don't want to hear anything from boxing fans. Francis Ngannou had his debut fight in boxing against, you know, boxing's best heavyweight. And Francis Ngannou went out there and dropped him and in most eyes won the fight. So I don't want to hear any boxing fans clowning on Ngannou for losing to Anthony Joshua in his second fight when he beat practically beat uh, Tyson Fury in his first fight. Um, and yeah, doing that to Tyson Fury as well, like I said before, Fury's going to have a bit of a bad taste in his mouth because he's had this big rivalry with Anthony Joshua for a while now. I know he's got a fight booked against Usyk, but he's had this big rivalry against Anthony Joshua and he arguably lost to Francis Ngannou. And now that Ngannou's just gone out there and pretty much lost immediately, got kind of dominated until he got knocked out by Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury is going to going to want to get his own back. I don't know if Fury is going to want to get into an immediate AJ fight after the Usyk fight, whether he wins or loses, or is going to want to rematch Francis Ngannou to rewrite that, rewrite that bad performance. But Francis Ngannou, he did us proud in the first fight that he had against Franci uh, against Tyson Fury. And um, I'm still happy for what happened to it. To, to go from getting paid like 600k against Cyril Garn and then take a massive long layoff where people thought he was completely finished with combat sports and we were never going to hear of Francis and Garnu again. To go out there and knock out Tyson, not knock out, what am I about? To go out there and arguably beat Tyson Fury, um, that's still respectable. And even his Joshua fight, even though we got knocked out, when do you ever see a guy in his second boxing fight fight Anthony Joshua? And more importantly, in his first fight Tyson Fury. Personally, I don't know what's next for Francis and Garnu. I don't know how people are going to take this. I don't really know how to feel because on one side... I mean, he kind of had it coming. You, you see, you're at your second ever MMA fight and you're fighting a boxer, but at the same time, I don't know, man. I thought Ngarni would be able to survive a decision. It's kind of weird because when I was watching Tyson Fury, when I was, you know, when we were, it was the build up to Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngarni, well, I thought Francis Ngarni was going to get knocked out early on by Tyson Fury. And then he went out there and had an amazing performance. And then it was kind of the reverse for the Anthony Joshua fight. I didn't think he was going to beat Anthony Joshua. Like I said, he was never going to be a good fight for him, but I thought it'd at least last, at least till the later rounds or maybe get himself to a decision. And then from to get knocked out so flawlessly, you'd expect expect that to happen to his first fight against Tyson Fury so the king of unpredict unpredictability Francis Ngannou just got knocked out let me, I want to know your thoughts down below on this fight and what's next for Francis Ngannou but yeah quite depressing if you're an Ngannou fan but you've got to respect what he's done for his career and how much he's been paid but yeah I'm gonna go cop thank you for watching